upstairs now to the Madison Broadcast booth where Mike Bordick and Ben McDonald are standing by. Mike? Hey, thanks, Tom. You know, the Orioles uh, had so much success here in the past five, six seasons, making it the postseason three years. So, you know what? They had to trade away some real big pieces. Uh, Josh Hader, Zach Davies, Eduardo uh, Rodriguez. But they got pieces back, and it kept them competitive. Well, last couple seasons hasn't been working out. So the trades have started to happen. Manny Machado getting traded, and, of course, uh, the great closer, Zach Britton. Now it's a look at what kind of prospects did the Orioles get back? Is it going to be enough? How quality are these guys? Well, they've shot right to the top of the Oriole prospect list. What do you think of this list here, Ben? Well, on the surface, it looks great. I mean, you talk about guys that jump right to the top in Diaz. You know about Diaz. He had two homers in the Futures game just not too long ago. Dylan Tate's one of the right-handed starting pitchers. He goes to number six, and you see five of the eight guys go in the top 20 in the Oriole organization when it comes to prospects. So all in all, it's pitcher heavy. Five of the eight are pitchers, but I tell you what, on the surface, it looks really, really good for the future of the Orioles. Yeah, you love the fact that they got some quality young pitching. Yes. I, I think, how many of these guys do you think are going to get really opportunities, say, in September and maybe even through the month of August? Well, Carroll, the closer, you know, who's been in AAA all year long, you're hearing a lot about him. I mean, the fastball's up to 100 miles an hour. He's been in AAA. He's got some experience. He's 25 years old. So I think for sure he'll be a guy that you're going to see and can, can contribute right away. You know, Tate's another guy at 24 years old with some experience and had a lot of success this year, too. So I think you're going to see a lot of these guys have an opportunity soon. And I think there's a lot of other guys down in the minor league system that are pretty excited, too, about all this that's going on. It's bad up here at the big league level, of course, but as a young player looking for an opportunity maybe to come up and show what he can do, I think there's a lot of prospects at that organization right now that are pretty pumped. Yeah, well said. I mean, it's all about the opportunities, and there are a lot of young eyes, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready for their chance here at Camden Yards. Back to you, Tom.